get your pen and paper because we are about to go over some serious bolos. Stay tuned guys, this is the what's sold for the last two weeks. Hey guys, Tabs McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a what sold video. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Canadian reseller and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Depop. Poshmark is bae, but I don't know, eBay is starting to give her a run for her money. Okay, so I have a crazy amount of like high ticket sales that happened in the last two weeks. I'm really excited to go over them and I'm just gonna jump right in. So the first week is for June 21st to the 27th. I had $991 in sales, a little bit lower than the thousand mark that I try to hit, but whatever, it is what it is. I made all those sales on Poshmark. The total amount of packages that we sent out were 18 for a total number of items of 24. This put the average sale price at $41.29. That is a fabulous average sale price. And I'm gonna put kind of like all the, all the applause and everything onto my sourcing. I've really been doing comp searching, research, things like that, and trying to get items that I know are gonna sell for over $25. Now the highest sale on that week was a Free People Easy Breezy Midi Dress. This sold for $80 and it wasn't a size medium. I'm gonna pop it up here. I'm pretty sure it was a sample. I kind of scooped it in the dress section for a really good price. Going into the next week, this is for June 28th to July 4th, I had $961 in sales, which is pretty awesome considering that I was gone for five days in there. Like, gone to the lake, on break, relaxing with my family, having friends over, it was awesome. To have those kind of sales while I'm not home and actively listing shows that you don't actually have to list every single day to still make sales. On eBay, I had a huge sale. This was a Double D Ranch leather jacket. I had recently sourced it the week before and really felt that it would do better on eBay. I did have it listed on Poshmark, but eBay is where the sale happened and it was for $397. The purchaser paid for the shipping as well. I think that's actually my highest ticket sale now to date. That's that's crazy, that's awesome. On Poshmark, I had $564 in sales. I sent out a total of 10 packages with 18 items. And the average sale price on Poshmark was $31.33. So a little bit down from the previous week, but still holding strong. I'm happy with that. And the highest sale of the week, obviously, is that Double D Ranch leather jacket. I actually did an Instagram post on it because I knew nothing about Double D Ranch and kind of read up on the history of the brand and stuff. It was really cool. I, I'm really impressed and I didn't even know like rock stars buy their jackets. I And I think that like the biggest one was Aerosmith. I'm pretty sure that stood out for me, but they have some beautiful, beautiful pieces. And definitely check your comps on eBay because that's where I saw them selling the most. Okay, so the two week total for both weeks was $1,952. That's awesome. This is in summer. I'm kind of taking it easy. I've slowed down on my sourcing. I can't even say that because I've ordered a ton of liquidation boxes. So if you haven't watched my last Quick Lots one, I'm gonna toss this up here. I just got those items all listed. Anyways, okay, so I've slowed down on local sourcing, but I feel like I've been doing a lot of like wholesale and liquidation uh, sampling and trying different boxes and different things. I do think I'm gonna start to slow down now because I have so much inventory to list and then just kind of do my local shops looking for the items that I figure are gonna sell for pretty good and pretty quickly. Okay, so let's go through all these sales. Again, I'm gonna do it the same as last time. I'm just gonna go over the sales that are, I think like over $30 pretty much. And if you wanna take a look at all my sales, check out my Posh Closet. It is in Canada and it's the Urban Goddess. You can check out all the other sales there, but we are just gonna go over the sales that were a little bit of higher ticket items. Okay, so the first bundle that I sold was a two piece bundle. This was for $85. It was a pair of Birkenstock Giza tan leather sandals in a size 42 and a vintage Esprit black sleeveless dress in a size 40. The offer price I sent them was $85, which she accepted. 
And she sent me a love note. She says, thank you. I love your YouTube channel. I've learned so much from you. Aw, KBreezy26. Thanks, girl. I hope you love those pieces. Those sandals were like in new condition. And funny story, those Birkenstocks, I found them in a death pile bag. Oh my gosh. I've had those for at least three months just sitting in a bag. I don't even know how I didn't list them, but whatever. Happy I got them listed. Happy you love the items and yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go on to the next one. The next bundle to sell was for $100. This was a four piece bundle. There was a vintage blue lingerie 80s lace bodysuit in a medium. This actually came from one of my vintage Jomar boxes and a wear leather warache, I think I said that right, strap flats, sandals in a size nine, and a denim floral embroidered button down top in an XL, and the mountain blue tie-dye whale graphic print shirt in a size large. These are four items that are pretty newly listed, I'm going to say within the last month. I was happy to make a deal and kind of get them moving. I was worried that sales were going to be slow that week, uh, just because we're going into summer, I wasn't really sure what to expect. The previous weeks had been kind of slow for me in my shop. Uh, I know lots of people are saying June was their biggest sales month, but I, it wasn't really mine. I, to be honest, it wasn't, it was not my biggest sales month. I've changed some strategies in my shop and I'll, I guess I'll talk about those later on. We'll just keep going through these. Okay, next item that's sold and okay, so if we're going to talk about that bullet list, I got to rewind one more time. Uh, add, make sure you have Birkenstocks. I think everyone has Birkenstocks on their list, but add Birkenstocks if you don't have them on your bullet list. And this next item, I've mentioned it before, and this is the second pair of shoes I've sold from them, is on cloud. So these were on cloud, cloud form running shoes in blue in a size nine, and they sold for $65. I've sold, like I said, two pairs of these, and the last pair I think sold for $90 on Facebook Marketplace. Definitely a brand of shoes that I am picking up and grabbing anytime I see them, as long as they're in good condition, obviously. Okay, next item to sell was a pair of Lululemon Fast and Free Tight New Lux 25 inch in a size eight. These sold for $63. I'm a little bit new to Lululemon, so sorry if I don't get these all right, but um, I kind of came across like a big lot of Lululemon on one of my thrift trips and they, yeah, they were all kind of within the same size. I did pay up for them. I think I paid around $20 a piece. I scooped them all up in the hopes to sell them. And then because I sold so many of them, the, the profit just adds up on these ones. Next item is that big highest sale. And this was that Anthropology Free People Easy Breezy Midi Dress in a size medium. I scored this for like $12, guys, 12 dollars and was so excited when I saw it and yeah that that was like a steal I think I had it listed around a hundred dollars and I sent her an offer for 80 with a shipping discount she accepted it and it's all good I was I was pretty excited I'm starting to list a little bit higher when I list things and giving myself more room to kind of give people deals and I'm sure lots of people already do this but I wasn't doing this before and it's something I'd really advise people to do is list a little bit higher and then you still have room to make deals because I feel like I make a lot of sales on sending offers to likes now. Okay so the next item was a pair of Spanx jeanish leggings in a dark wash and they were a size large or a size 12. They sold for $50. I've never found Spanx jeans and they were actually on my bolo list of things that I wanted to find because I've heard so many other resellers saying how awesome they are and how quickly they sell. This was a first for me. I actually think I had them listed somewhere around $100 and then I wasn't getting a lot of even likes on them and maybe that was a little bit high to list them so I dropped them down to 75 and uh, yeah, this sale went through so that was awesome. Okay, next sale was a Lululemon black bra in a 34D. This sold for $35. I've had this one for a little while and this was kind of the last of those Lululemon bras that I had thrifted way back a few months ago when I went to Edmonton. I thought these bras would sell for a little bit more than they did. I feel like I paid between eight and $10 for them so they weren't really cheap. Not sure if I would pick them up again. Like I think it'd have to be a pretty good deal or a very current style for the, for the bra. 
but whatever, that's just kind of what works for me and my business model. Uh, what works for you might be different and that might be a totally okay price for you. So you do what's best for you. Uh, moving on, next was an Aritzia Tallulah Trooper Green Utility Jacket in a size small. This sold for $50. She did get a $3.50 shipping discount. And I know a lot of people, I've seen people on like social media saying these jackets are no longer in style. I completely disagree. I've sold probably three of these now in the last six months. And if I see it again, I will grab it again. And she left me, uh, this is Avril. She left me a love note and said, came quickly and great condition, thanks. You're welcome, hope you love it. Super cute jacket, excellent quality. All right, next item was a pair of Lululemon Align Pant 2 25 inch 8 Polar Shift Embossed. Take that, oh my gosh, that was a tongue twister. So this was one of those Lululemon pants and I now know how to read that little size dot. Thank you, Lorraine from South Swell. Uh, she helped me figure that out, and now I am like a little Lulu guru. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I can figure things out now, which is something I could not do a month ago. So thank you, Lorraine. I really appreciate your help on the Lulu items. This buyer is Kim. She received them. She said, very fast and thank you. You're welcome, girl. I hope you love those pants. They were in like next to new quality. Uh, the next item to sell was a vintage tickets denim blue jean sheath dress in a size 8. This sold for $45. Uh, they did get a $3.50 shipping discount, which probably means it was an offer to likes. And I really like that. I have two of those dresses. They were very similar. And I thought they were going to sell really quick, but they've been a little bit of a slow burn. But I'm okay with that. I'll sit on them. If they're selling between like $45 and $55, I'll sit on them for a little bit more. And I'm hoping come fall, they're a little bit more of a fall style. Next item to sell was an Aritzia Denim Forum Farrah Cheeky Short Jean, jean Shorts. I put that in wrong wording. Uh, for In a size 27. These sold for $40. Denim Forum is a brand of jeans I will definitely grab. They're still carrying them at Aritzia. And if I can find them for a really good price, I'll definitely pick them up. This is the first time I found a pair of jean shorts in that brand. I would add that one to your bolo list. Okay, next was another bundle. And this was the last sale for the first week that I went over. And it was for three Lululemon pants. Uh, first pair was Lululemon Wonder Under Crop Black High Rise 21 inch size 10. Next one was Lululemon Wonder Under Crop High Rise 21 inch size 10. And the third pair was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under Crop High Rise 21 inch size 10. And uh, the last the last two, I guess, would have been the same, but they were different colors. I don't even know. Anyways, the bundle was for $180. That was awesome. She sent me the offer and I just accepted it. I figured I could sit on them and maybe make, you know, five or $10 more an item, or I could just let this bundle go and get rid of that inventory really quick because I had just listed it two days before. It was really cool to have these things sell so quickly. Okay, going on to the second week, the first sale was a Disneyland 2004 red graphic sweatshirt in a size large. This sold for $30. It was super cute, and I actually considered holding on to it for three more years so that it would be vintage because I thought, how cool is that? I'd have a vintage Disney sweater because I have yet to find one of those. Whatever, I listed it and it sold pretty quick. So definitely make sure you're grabbing like cute graphic Disney stuff because I feel like it always sells. I rarely sit on Disney stuff and I, if I see it in the thrift store and it's a good price, I'm grabbing it. Good price to me is probably like under $7, under six or seven dollars and they usually sell within a month definitely like my disney stuff uh next item to sell was a finini 100 percent linen pastel blue tunic top in a size medium this sold for 30 dollars uh i didn't recognize this brand but i think what made it stand out is linen anytime you're finding good quality linen clothing especially right now in summer and then that being said, I kind of feel like I sell it all year round, but I would be grabbing linen. So I'm just going to toss linen on the bolo list, even though it's not a brand, but you should be keeping your eye out for linen material because that stuff 
is like liquid gold, seriously gold. We only got a few more and these are all some big hitters. Next item to sell was a Lululemon on the fly black shorts. These were a 2.5 inch in a size four and they sold to my girl, Shop the Okanagan. Hey, I hope you love them. They're in excellent condition. I have no doubt you're gonna love these. Uh, they sold for $54 and she did get a $3.50 shipping discount. This again was on that day with all that Lulu stuff. It was so awesome and all of them sold so quickly. Next item to sell was a pair of Gymshark Black Flex high-waisted leggings in an XL. These sold for $55. I had a little bit of troubles finding the size tag on these and I had a few people message me letting me know that they are highly um, frauded or what the heck, what's the word? Like not authentic, you guys know what I mean. I'm tongue twi- <laughs> I can't even say the word. I can't think of the word but they are impersonated a lot. Anyways, these were real ones. The size tag is actually down in the ankle and I had them sized as a medium because I was like, I don't know, these look like a medium to me. Uh, and they were actually an XL, so I had to change that. And uh, yeah, they sold really quick as well. Add Gymshark to your bola list. Okay, next item. Uh, this is something I keep saying that Y2K and that 90s um, Bratz kind of style. Paris Hilton, I don't know, is still trending. So I found these vintage 90s Aldo brown chunky heel boots in a size seven. Uh, they sold for $60. There was a little bit of wear in the sole, but I like listed it all into the listing and they are amazing. Like my youngest, Emika, was strutting around the house. I'm like, you can't keep those. Those are not for you. Those are to sell but they're so cool. I don't blame her for wanting to try them on. If they fit me, I probably would have modeled them in my house as well, but uh, yeah, not my size. Okay, and the next bundle was another big one. This one sold for $110. It was a five-piece bundle, which is probably a little bit lower than I would normally go on these items, but I had a few of them for a while, and I just wanted to kind of get them cleaned out of the closet. So I'm gonna take it. I got the value on the items I wanted, and the other items, they are what they are. So first item is a vintage sandals purple graphic crop shirt in a medium. It actually had a single stitch on the sleeve, like single stitching, which is very cool. If it would have fit me, I would have kept that for sure. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit small on me. A vintage striped ruffle collar long sleeve blouse in a size 12. A Disney Winnie the Pooh jean smock dress in a size medium. A vintage Northern Spirit grandma sweater in an XL still selling those grandma sweaters and Disney, right? Add Disney to your bolo or we already did, but I'm telling you Disney stuff sells and a vintage Carrie cream knit sweater shirt floral in a size large. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So those five items, bye-bye. See you guys later. And I hope she loves them because they're all like super cool items anyways. Okay. Next item to sell was a pair of Lululemon Black Align crop leggings, 25 inch in a size six. These sold for $60. They did get a $3.50 shipping discount, which was an offer to likes. I like getting those moving. And the last sale, oh no, second last sale, sorry, was an Aritzia Wilfred Rust Knit mini dress in a size small. This sold for 40 bucks. I listed this last week and I actually did it in an Instagram haul that I posted and I even commented, I know that this is probably a bit of an older style and I couldn't find a stock photo for it, but I picked it up strictly on the color. I like the earthy kind of neutral tone of it and the drapiness and the fabric. I knew that this item would sell just based on trends that are selling right now. Anyways, it was a pretty easy flip. I paid somewhere around five bucks for it, so I'm happy with that. I will, I will look for those kind of items every single time I go out. And the last sale of the two weeks was a bundle. It was for $100. It was a five piece bundle. We had kind of gone back and forth on the pricing a little, but um, I'm happy with it. I got rid of a few things that I've had for a bit in my closet and making room for new fresh items. And she got a fantastic deal on these pieces. So the first item was a vintage purple knit short sleeve top in a 2X. Uh, second item is a cream fall leaves grandma short sleeve shirt in an XL. 
Uh, next one is a tan crepe sleeveless camisole top in an XL. And the fourth item was a vintage nonfiction burgundy sweatshirt in a large. Those vintage nonfiction sweaters, if you see them, grab them, I'm telling you they always sell. And lastly, a vintage traditions earthy fleece sweater jacket in a size 12. Again, this bundle sold for $100 and I gave her a $3.50 shipping discount and said goodbye and that was on July 4th. That wraps up the week. Uh, that was a lot of sales, a pretty good average sale price and uh, a ton of items in there for you to add to your bullet list. What do you guys think? Anything in here you're like totally shocked on or items that you also have really good luck with? I'd love to hear, drop in the comments, what do you guys think of these what solds? Okay, I kinda wanna chat about w these changes that I've been making in the closet and uh, where I'm seeing these sales. So I recently put out a video on how to beat summer slowdown or how to make sales in summer. I'm gonna pop it up here. I really recommend it because these are a lot of the things that I am applying right now and that are helping me make these sales. The biggest takeaway that I think out of that is doing your research, doing your comp researching, knowing what sells. I always say, you know, take like 10 minutes a night when you crawl into bed, instead of scrolling Instagram, go on a Poshmark and look at what solds. I promise you, if you spend 10 minutes a night, that is over an hour a week, just looking at what items are selling. When you go thrifting, you will thrift better. You will have better brand knowledge. You will know what styles are selling, what colors, what things people are really basically purchasing that day. It will help you when you're sourcing and then I think it'll also help you with your sales because you're actually buying things that people are gonna buy, right? Sometimes we source things um, that we like or that we think are cool, but it's not always necessarily things that are gonna sell. So I do typically look at items that I like and then I will comp search and narrow them down from there. I hope that helps you. It's a little bit of a strategy. It seems to be working all right for me. And uh, let me know in the comments, do you do something like that? Do you do comp searching? Are you looking items up? Uh, do you find your items are selling really good? I would love to have any discussions with you guys in the comments because I love knowing what other people are doing and what works for them. I share like all my information and I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's been long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my content. I hope it's helping you in your reselling journey. If it is, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Also drop a comment if you wanna chat with me. I always reply to everyone and I hope you have a fabulous week. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Wishing you many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.